she would just ask me all kind of questions she was like i'm pretty sure you answered this already but i don't think i heard and i'm like well if i answered this what bro what are you talking about man Thanks for tuning in. I don't know why I was so loud just now. We are still on this very wild journey of unemployment, but you know that's neither here nor there. So I had my interview last week and it went really good. I waited like two days this week to see if the recruiter was going to hit me up and the recruiter didn't. So I reached out to, um, I guess it was like the sorcerer or whoever that's over the role. And they sent me an update that said the team actually loved me and they were very interested in working with me, but they're still interviewing other candidates. So it's like, okay. I guess, you know, give them a fair chance. But why are y'all interviewing so many people for this one position? So she said, hopefully I'll have, um, hopefully she'll have an update before the weekend. But right now I'm kind of just waiting on that. And I'm just like, ugh, can y'all hurry it up? I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to worry. I don't want to think about life's, worries and anxieties and bills and all of that. I don't want to think about that I really don't like if I'm being real I want to go travel I want to go I saw this cute little jumpsuit set and some new balances and I was like with my shape I could rock that <laughs> and the cute little crop top I was like I can rock that I'm over here looking at just clothes and I want it to be cute this fall and I still can I still can be cute but I'm just waiting to hear back on if they're going to move forward with me or if I just got to start fresh and just get back uh get back out there because it was two interview rounds. That last interview round that was with four people, I was like, why is there so many of y'all? One girl, she would just ask me all kind of questions. She was like, I'm pretty sure you answered this already, but I don't think I heard. And I'm like, well, if I answered this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm giving y'all answers to your questions. And it sounds like I know what I'm doing and I know how to do my job. And you still want clarification? <laughs> okay. Um, we're just going to cross our fingers on this and just pray. I called my bank because I know I have my own expenses. And it was like, hey, I just want to push this out until I know for sure that I can pay this. And they're like, okay, cool. And then they have this thing, they have a personal finance management team. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, let me reach out to them too. And to find out you actually have to be bringing in income for them to like work with you. So whether that's small income or regular salary or contract job, you have to be bringing in some form of income. And I was like, but I just got laid off. Like, and they're like, oh, well, you know, if you do something like, you know, Uber or DoorDash, just to show that you're... You're making something. Give us a call back. And I was just like, what? <laughs> this is all confusing. Keep hope alive. <laughs> because this is, man, this is a wild ride, y'all. You know, I'm living. I'm trying to enjoy life as much as I can. Because I feel like that's what God has intended us to do is regardless of circumstances, enjoy your life as much as you can. But man, is this weird. Um, I'm seeing people on LinkedIn, nine months of unemployment, two years of unemployment. They done lost their house, they dog, they, uh, somebody done passed away. And I'm like, God, protect me. <laughs> Please? Please just cover me. I actually did like a whole like expense spreadsheet because I live for those like I just did a spreadsheet of just my own personal expenses that I have that that's going to be coming out I'm like okay well I don't spend a lot of money every month but 
I would like to have some income to supplement to pay those things <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it. You know, obviously I have a savings and I'm just trying to make it do what it do. The weather feels nice. It's 64 degrees right now. It feels good outside. I went to the farmer's market, got my fruits and veggies. I'm going to make a, well, am I going to make a chicken pot pie? Another one? I don't know. I might make some chicken gnocchi. Just having fun in the kitchen, just experimenting with stuff and seasonings and everything. Life is too short to just be out here just crying over stuff and um, to not be living. You know, like, I want to live my life to the fullest. I just ask God to provide me with adequate resources to be able to do that. So why, why are y'all honking at each other? What's happening right now? I feel like there is so much more to living than just paying bills and enjoying myself on the weekend. I want to enjoy myself every day. I guess it's been good because I have been able to find like a... No, I lied. I have not found a routine being free during the days. So I've kind of just been waking up early, you know, washing clothes, finding something to eat. <laughs> Hopping on the computer, applying to jobs, editing videos, and just seeing where the day takes me. Going for a walk in the mornings or in the evenings, however, um, it really, yeah. <laughs> and I guess I'm such a routine person. I'm such a strategic, plan it this way, plan it that way. This is a time that you have to do it by, you know, X, Y, and Z. But it feels nice to be doing things without feeling constricted to a time. And I think that's what I've had to learn for myself. You're just out here making it do what it do. Doing the best of what we got. I still want to do some fun stuff for my birthday. Like, my birthday is in two months. And I know for a fact how I like to do stuff. Okay. I like nice things. I'm a simple person. But I love nice experiences. I love nice experiences. I love fun experiences. And I think... That is because I'm trying to make up for what my younger self didn't get or didn't have. And I just want to have fun. I just want to have a good time. I want to be around friends or family. Um, I want to go travel. Even though my birthday falls during the holidays, I'm like, okay, well, can I at least save some money to go travel, even if that's next year or or whenever? I just had plans and God was like, hold on, these are, these plans are not your plans. And I'm like, okay, but that, that's cool, God, that's cool. But he makes sure I'm straight <laughs> and you just make sure I'm Gucci. You know what I mean? So it's a, uh, it's a journey. Even this, even like getting onto my YouTube stuff, like this is a journey. This is me talking to y'all. This, I've never done anything like this before. For me, it's kind of um, tapping into like this, this self-confidence and ridding myself of any insecurities that I might have had. I'm growing my hair out still and I'm trying to figure out, do I want to keep growing this? Do I? Am I committed? <laughs> am I? This is, it's, it's getting to the point where I have to put a pick in it. And I'm like, I have to put a pick in it and I have to detangle it. Now think about that. I have not had to detangle my hair in four years because I kept it cut very short. That was just easy for me. Because I was like, okay, when it gets to like a certain length, cut it. I don't want to have to do, I literally just want to lay the gel, the mousse, whatever, and lay my edges in five minutes and call it a day. Now I'm in the mirror for like, well, three minutes longer three to five minutes longer trying to get through the I forgot is it low porosity high porosity I gotta use a lot of water to hydrate my hair and it's growing fast and I know I'm growing it out but it's like man you're growing fast um I need some braids y'all I need some braids what is it the braids I need I need those because I love my hair. I love the curliness. I love I love how cute it looks. But 
man, I don't, I don't feel like doing it every day. <laughs> I don't feel like doing this every day. Like, I need a break. I don't want a wig. I don't want that. I mean, wigs are cool, I guess, if they look natural enough. But, like, I, okay, I would get a ventilated wig. Like, a ventilated wig with the, the, with the nice, you know, baby hairs and where it, looks, where it looks real natural. Like, okay, if it looked like this and then it had some texture to it and everything, cool. Yeah, whatever. Um, but I don't want no... I don't want nothing that got to put glue and gold uh what is it the the lace bond and the, the sticky tapes and i gotta blend the lace i gotta bleach the knots if i gotta do all of that i'm gonna just do my hair <laughs> i'm gonna just do my hair if i'm being real with y'all because that's gonna take my damn i'm not an expert in that it's gonna take me about 30 minutes to do all of that so it's a no it's a no for me unless you make it for me but if you make like a ventilated wig and you want to, like, if a stylist is making ventilated wigs, most of them are going to be at least six, seven hundred dollars and up. And it's like, can somebody gift me that? Then by all means, sure. Ugh, can you just make this easier for me? <laughs> Even braids. I don't feel like sitting in the chair for eight, six, seven, eight hours on my head. Like, I feel like my hair might, if I pick it out, it might be long enough to actually get braids in now. I need like a good two or three people in my head to like get that done because I don't want to sit in the chair all day long. I've legit been looking for a decent Atlanta braider without the crazy requirements on their booking page. Can I find somebody old school and professional to just get my stuff done and make me look cute? Literally a month ago today, I found out that I was being laid off due to budget cuts. It's like, wow, this, this went by fast. This whole month went by fast. Man, I'm still going to have a good time. I have a concert coming up on this weekend. I'm going to see Kay Trinata, so that's going to be cool. I'm going to continue to do things that give me joy, that make me so very happy. Every single day that I wake up, I express gratitude, and I think god every day for the things that i have for the people that are in my life for the experiences that i've went through and learned from and overcame and con that continues all of that continues to make me into a better person that i am than, than i am than i was yesterday you know what i mean i feel like i have evolved into somebody else and i love that i love that very much also make sure y'all go vote if y'all didn't already you can vote early. Go do that. Every day I'm reminded, are we on an episode of Punk? Like, where is Ashton? Sir, where are you? Take care of your mental health, y'all, because that is top tier. And I don't know how I'm doing it. Like, when I tell you I don't know how I'm doing it, I really, I really don't. I just, I try to laugh every day. I try to find stupid TV to watch that's youtube videos like regular show i'm watching regular show in the car or in the bed i'm watching old cartoons from the late 90s early 2000s or my favorite youtubers playing video games like it just it takes away all the seriousness going on in today's world while also making sure i go walk like i did six miles the other day and i was like I'm here for this, Taylor. I'm here for this. This is good. This is good for me. That stress on your body will catch up. And you don't need that. Nobody needs that. Do I really feel like going back to work? Not really. I'd rather just be paid to just sit in my home and watch TV. Talk to y'all. I'd rather get paid doing that. If I get this job, I'm just going to work my butt off to at least try to get monetized so we can make that happen. Because I don't need this happening again. I don't want to rely on leadership to be like, we don't have the budget for you. And also, another note, I totally forgot to add this. The last recruiter at my old job, he was full of crap. Because how dare you interview me? 
and tell me, oh, yeah, you know, if things don't work out, we can always um, I'm usually the person to work with you and, um, you know, transfer you to another team or another pod. Like we can always find, you know, whatever, whatever, X, Y and Z. Do you know I was hitting this man up about other opportunities at my company? I could not get a response from him lies i don't know if recruiters are getting commission or whatever for bringing candidates on but that man straight lied to me he did not care about me they don't care about us y'all they do not care the way he lied and was like yeah you know and i told him he told me as soon as you find out let's say for example unexpected circumstances come up where your role is being eliminated due to budget or you have to or you know a project ends or just whatever whatever then you just reach out to me which i did and the man was on pto and i was like okay well you know wait till you come back followed up with him hey let me know if there's any information you need a resume yada yada and he was just like so short like with his responses and then i was just like oh wow he doesn't care and um, I don't have to go into detail about what color he was, um, but he wasn't my color. Yeah. I guess it just goes to show like they don't care. It's really like who you know. I feel like if I was like one of his golfing buddies or whatever, he would have been like, yeah, you know, I'll try to find you something or whatever, whatever, but... Man, these companies don't care if you got bills. They don't care if you got kids. They don't care if you on medication. They don't care if you're pregnant and on maternity leave or you uh you just had surgery. They don't care about none of that. They care about this AI. They care about what how much money that's going to make them, them robots, them um anything that's going to lower their costs and be more efficient for them and and we are just head counts in one of my last jobs i was just a head count i was just another body to them for being real just another body (laughs) they don't care so yeah i'm gonna keep doing this i want y'all to keep looking forward to this because i enjoy it i enjoy being real and raw with y'all um i can get my point across i can talk about all of this crap and actually when i be done i feel so much better (laughs) i feel 10 times better because somebody has to hear this somebody has to hear like what we are dealing with and what we are going through and it sucks but i don't know i feel like maybe not maybe i feel like something good is coming out of all of this I really hope after the election things get better. I really do. Because if not, then I'm moving to another country. And we're just going to figure it out over there. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but... Yeah. (laughs) Uh, What do you do when you just can't... You don't know what to do or... How do you figure this all out? How... How do you make how do you make it how do you make things shake? But that was pretty much all I had to talk about. I guess long form content seems to work. I mean, I make shorts and like shorter videos or whatever, but I kind of like the long form content. I'm going to start taking you all on just a day in my life and just just seeing how my days go. Are they interesting? I'm not too sure. I feel like if you all were a fly on the wall, you would see how hilariously stupid I am when I'm insulting like people like my boyfriend on a daily basis or just a random stuff that I'll just say. It's just like, Taylor, what? I literally listened to myself one day and I was like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, what are you what are you talking about? But yeah, um, thank you for tuning in and hopefully I will have some more updates for you all later but i'm signing off please make sure to hit that subscribe button 
Turn them noties on. And notifications. Turn them noties on, y'all. Like, share, comment. All that good stuff. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>